Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Olaf in the top lane. First things first, you have one of the best level ones in the game, so take a forward bush position. For your level one all-ins, generally Conqueror is actually better, although Lethal Temple will outscale for you, especially once you have some items. For your rooms, take Conqueror with Presence of Mind or Triumph. I think Presence of Mind is better for being a bully. You get your mana back. With Alacrity, Last Stand, Revitalize, Second Win, Attack Speed, AD, and Health. Olaf is best against other melee champions. He really, really struggles against range things like a Vayne or an Auction. So watch out for that. He does play okay against Teemo though, because you can poke down Teemo and Teemo doesn't have a way to self heal. For our start, we have the D-Blade Potion. We've got a forward bush position, flash ignite. You can go for a ghost ignite or even flash ghost. I didn't want to though, because I want ignite. I was They had a Warwick and a Trundle. So again, with the Q, we want to pick up that Q. And we win that. That's kind of the whole point. And this wave's going to push into me because I made it go tight. So I'll reset. And the enemies quit. No way. All right. I'll see you guys in part two, I guess. They got lucky. Yo, what's going on, guys? Going to be showing you how to carry an Olaf in the top lane. First things first, you want to take bush control because Olaf has one of the best level ones in the whole game. Not many champions can go toe to toe with him because his passive attack speed and life still gets super high based on how much health you're missing. It's all the way up to 50% at level one, attack speed, 8% life still at level one as well. We're gonna go ahead and start with Q. Lethal Tempo outscales Conqueror, but Conqueror is better early game because you can stack it with your abilities, not just your autos. For our build, we're gonna be running a 68% win rate item build, which will be a Stride Breaker first item. The nice thing about Stride Breaker is it speeds you up and slows them. It's really big for staying on top. And then we're gonna go straight into a Sundered Sky second. Sundered Sky, lots of healing ability ace. All around a great item it gives you a free crit as well six second cooldown so it will be a stride breaker into sundered into a steric steric loads of health ad tenacity and a fat shield when you pop low health and you want to survive at low health to maximize your damage output for our boots typically on olaf you're looking for plated against their team we might go merc treads we'll see we want to cut this guy off from the wave keep him off the minions if possible so they can't solo us at all he doesn't know where we're at, so he's, he might just wait. Get him with the Q auto. Walk out of the bush, auto, Q auto. It doesn't matter if we both miss golden XP, but ideally we want to still get XP and make him miss it if that's possible, which a lot of times it is. Like right there, I pushed him off a melee minion. So like, for example, if we're both missing last hits, but I'm getting XP and he's not, that's a huge net win for us because the most important stat early game before you're level three is XP. Because you want to get all three of your abilities up and ready to go. Level 2, you can go for your W or your E. Against an all-in champion, you go W. Otherwise, you typically push E. Because it's good for last hitting and doesn't cost any mana. It costs a little bit of health, but it refunds health when you kill something with it. He's not getting any last hits right now. He's going to have to wait for me to crash this wave. And uh, it's hard for people to gank you when you have this many minions because your minions do so much damage when you fight on them. As long as your minions haven't touched their turret yet, your minions will help you when the enemies step up to uh, hit you. So once the enemies hit you, your minions should help. Auto into the Q. And the wave is crashed. Now at this point, I do have Demolish, so I'll look for a Demolish real quick. This guy can't hurt us very much. If this was a Darius or Lowry, obviously I wouldn't do this, but since it's Nasus, Kind of like, what's he going to do? Got him with the Q. We got the minion with the Q. And since we're not picking up our axe, it is on full cooldown. Something to keep in mind. We got him with the Q again. We also got the minion last hit. We'll poke him with an E here when he steps up. Yeah, we took two turret shots. Definitely not worth there. <laughs> I want both those. The moon was coming for the gank, so we'll go ahead and get a ward down. We definitely win this 2v2. Nocturne just has to uh, react. We'll go ahead, get him with the Q. We'll ghost him down. Get him with the Q. Get him with the E. Got my W on as well. They do get first blood on me, which kind of sucks. It didn't go to Nasus at least, which is good. We'll go ahead and build as much stride breaker as we can. Double longsword. We'll TP back. Just kind of getting bursted down. And getting withered by Nasus. Once we're six, he won't be able to slow our movement speed or attack speed when we're on our R. And the wave's coming to me since I crashed against his turret. So we're in a pretty good spot as a whole. We'll just hit him with an E. He's running too far away. Can't reach him with auto. So we have short auto range. He's pushing too hard. So we'll bash him down a bit. 
Auto and E. Dude, I'm getting creep blocked so hard right now. It's insane. It's actually insane. Auto W reset. Auto EQ. Down he goes. I, I literally couldn't get to him. The minions were blocking me indefinitely hard. We can heal back. As long as we don't get ganked by a Moomoo, this guy can't kill us. Our W is a true auto reset. Plus, it's also shield and a bunch of attack speed. So, we're healing a lot off of it and mitigating damage. Need to thin this out. We only need him to have roughly four more range creeps than what we have. We don't need him to have <laughs> six more minions. Slow down the wave a bit. Get another point into our Q. Get him with the Q auto. Auto EQ. Auto W reset. Got it. Nice. And that's the beauty of Olaf. Against low damage champions in particular, even if you're low health, they can't kill you. Just auto W E. Mix in Qs in between autos. And we can heal back pretty fast. We've got high life still. Right now we have 12% life still plus the 3.5. So we're at about 15% life still. And I do have R. So if he's foolish enough to try to fight us, we let him get close. I'll pop R, which will immediately remove all CC affecting us, including his attack speed and movement speed slow on the wither. You got to slow down here. I don't really want to push into him. If your jungler isn't going to dive with you, Trying to uh, shove waves into Nasus is kind of pointless. Q. We're going to R. Ah, uh, it kind of sucks. I needed to get my Q better lined up. I had a weird angle on it to where I couldn't follow it up very well. That's my bad there. He just E'd my whole wave. His wave might still push into me at this point. I was blasting the wave trying to heal off of it. That's perfect. Him throwing out a big AoE ability. We'll get him with a Q. We can run down this axe. Don't know where Moo Moo is. We'll get him with an E Q. He has grasp is up, so I'll pull off here. I also don't know. When he hits 6, I'll be in trouble with how low I am. Because I don't even have my R. I kind of want to back here. Auto into E. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let this guy be. We don't know where Moomoo is and we don't have R, so fighting this would be hella dicey. Only downside to Stride Breaker is it doesn't give you ability haste. That is the absolute biggest downside to it. I'm trying to build the team map part last. Olaf already has fantastic wave clear with his Q and with his high attack speed from passive and W. So having the team map makes it to where you can't freeze it even if you want to. Even if freezing does make the most sense, in that moment, you literally just can't. So I like to delay the team at as long as possible, especially in a matchup like this. He's only at 54 Q farm. He has no boots. I have boots now. He has no armor, no health. I have health off the phage, so we're chilling. They got Dragon with the Amumu here, so we should be good to go. He has mini advantage. I don't want to throw a Q through the wave, so I'll just walk up, hit him with an auto E reset or just a raw E if I can't reach him with an auto. Auto E, got it. He slightly outranges our autos. Uh, just kind of depends on how he positions. Got him with an E and an auto. I gave up a minion for it though, so possibly not worth. Oof. I'll just finish pushing this. I think this wave's in a weird spot. I want to get off my demolish anyways. I already know Moomoo's not here. Yeah. Thanks for the turret bit. We'll get him with Q. And this wave should push into me because it's so tight even though I did some damage. You see, my minion will die first here, I think. Oof. Almost. I have multiple points in my E, so it should hit pretty hard. Got two points in it. Get him with the Q into an E. It's so hard to chip this guy down because he's giving up a tremendous amount of CS. He's only coming in every now and then. Making it very, very hard. Mm, he got the cannon, but he didn't get the Q farm from it. We can pick up Axe here. 
Got some more of his turret. Bop him. Oof. Took a turret shot for it. Possibly worth. I don't have good vision down, but I do have R. Yeah, can't quite find him with that axe. Just chipping him down, man. We'll, we'll go take these. This is... <laughs> We've already built an advantage, double is CS, kill advantage. We gotta take stuff like this. Oh, the axe missed, that sucks. Auto EQ, auto W. Miles is gonna focus me. I think he missed his thing though. Auto E. I win this hard. Auto Q, auto. Nice, nice, nice. Nocturne didn't really help there at all. He decided he just wanted the grubs. We'll go ahead and reset and uh, TP back to lane. Go ahead and pick up plated. Since your R is essentially infinite tenacity, it's usually why you lean away against Merc Treads. If you want to get magic resist, that's fine on Olaf. In that case, Ma's a good item or you can go for Jack Show. Since this has T-Map baked into it, all of its autos will push the wave, so I... It's partly why it taking Demolish is so good on Olaf. For even if you do get kind of forced into playing push heavy. Then that's alright. Stand on this side and beat down the turret. You get the little void mites as well. Get them with an auto E. In with stride break, he wastes his wither. A moon was bot side, so I'm just gonna keep smashing down his turret. I can heal off these. Auto into E, not bad. We want our axe to be where we want to be, so we can pick it up. We don't want to just throw it at a weird angle. He doesn't even want to use Q on me because he's trying to farm. He's gonna lose doing that. He's dead here. Auto Q, auto, auto E, auto stride break, auto Q. And we keep picking it up. I still have my W. Auto Q, E, down he goes. Beautiful. I never did use my W. I didn't need the auto reset slash the shield yet. A lot of times it scares people away because they like, oh crap. Olaf has a 300 shield and he's attacking me a million times per second. I got to run. So, in a lot of one versus ones, when you know they can't beat you, even if you hold on to it, it's kind of worth the hold on to it for a little bit longer. Save it till you get lower on health to maximize your passive value. Take off that guy's shield. And uh, we could definitely kill him here if he steps up. We land the Q, stride break, auto E, auto W. Good luck, my man. I'm going to heal a lot because I'm so low on health. My life still is at 17% plus this. So I have 20% life still and a bunch of extra attack speed. If you want to counter Olaf, you have to pick a ranged top lane that can self-heal. Like a Vayne or an Auction with a life still item. Because Olaf hard counters Teemo. The Olaf actually cannot push Teemo, dump him under turrets, and poke him down with his Qs. This is where we go for Sundered Sky. Shocking healing effect. Catches people off guard. They throw super hard against it. He's only at 153 Q farm. And we're going to take his next turret as well. He's got a big wave pushing. So whether he wants to or not, it's going to force him up. I can take Rift Herald in 30 seconds. We only lose if I die solo to Nasus. Because even if they gank me, I should just really be able to handle them. 1v2 if I have R. The Mumu's strength comes from his CC. Hey friend, get him with, with this, auto E, dump the Q store, auto W reset, auto Q, auto E, auto Q. Nasus on his R is tough, <laughs> he went pretty even there considering how far behind he is. Nasus R gives him 6 stats, my R gives me really just attack damage and 1 second of movement speed. That is why you take Demolish. 
bone plating is fine against all in top laners like a riven who's going to shred into you very bursty but against champions who are going to poke you from range like an like nasus e second wind's fine or you can go for revitalize for more healing from passive or bigger shield on w let's take off his passive there and we'll run away your stride breaker outranges your autos and your e so you typically lead into a fight with that stride breaker auto e auto w oh this is bad i'm not sure where miles is at they may not know if my r is up though so that might be what's kind of going on here yeah they're all three top side <laughs> that's kind of hilarious if i have my r i can definitely kill them all at the same time like this auto e auto didn't have to use it there since nocturne backed me up mm, i could probably keep pushing this wave it's a little dicey since i don't know where the rest of this guy's team is though and now he's coming up for it i don't have my flash or i should say my ghost flash at olaf top is fine ghost is fine they're both good Flash is a little bit better for cheesing the kill level 1, level 2. Ghost is better, kind of level 6 and up. In synergy with your R so they can't get away. Hello, my friend. Get him with the Q. Stride break. Auto W reset. Auto E. Q. There goes his health. We can only use our E once per that type of fight where they're escaping. So I'll use it as he's getting out of my auto range. There goes your turret. We land the Q, stride break, auto W, E. We'll get him with the Q, R. I don't have my stride breaker though. Auto, E, auto. That's pretty funny. Oh, I just got a turn. Dang, I got a W immediately. I'm dead. <laughs> they got me good. It's a thousand gold for them. That's pretty worth for them. It's not, that's a bad trade for us, but we did still at least get a turret got a couple of r's the gold went to malzahar i think yeah malzahar got the shutdown rather go to him than nasus got sundered sky now we'll go for our sterics after sterics i'm thinking uh experiment on a hex play huge r ability haste attack speed ad health you also get a bunch of attack speed and movement speed when you're on your R for 8 seconds. That could be really useful. You might want to run. Got the TP speed up. I'll run this guy down. I don't actually have... I don't know who else is here, so this is kind of dicey. I don't have my R's the problem. <laughs> if my R's up, I'd kill them all. But without it, Mumu's going to triple stun me. Yeah, it's all four of them they are coming to stop me. Bunch of goofballs. Auto on the E. E is more damage and it's true damage. So it's, it's like a weight. It's almost like two auto attacks worth of damage for the most part. If you max it last though, it's kind of worthless because it's doing <laughs> really less damage than your autos. Level one is only 70 damage. So if I had a level one E right now, it would be... About a fourth the damage of my auto it wouldn't even be worth weaving in. I don't have my Q to throw at this guy. We're gonna lose inhib. It's kind of early to take this though. I'd rather go for turret. Taking inhib pre 20 is a little early because he can't even take Baron yet. Couldn't even stop it. What a goose. Demolish is going to do this. Got him with a Q and the R. Stride break. Auto W reset E. Go for the Nami. Yeah, it can't really stay on top there. They all retreated underneath turret, but we got enough done. We'll get him with a Q. Stride break. Auto W reset E. Down he goes. That was a good soul CC. We got these waves. Two waves right here. Juicy. Should be GG's with these little void mites here to help. 
That was a tough game for Nasus, man. Olaf is a counter matchup because Olaf are. As long as you're aggressive with him early on, you don't let him farm much. Got the <laughs> luck shield. I won't die. Auto Q. Down he goes. And that is GG. Saved soul just in the nick of time. So we got damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Probably number one damage. Probably number one or two damage taken. Let's see. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game by a pretty good margin for damage taken. Pretty happy with that. We were number technically four in the game for self mitigated. Should be top three. Ooh. Top. Whoa. We were tied number for number with the Moo Moo. Identical. 19474. That's a wild man. Pretty happy with that. For roots, high value. If you guys enjoyed this Olaf video, let me know what champion you want to see next down in the comments below. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.